What I'm going to be going over here is a triple integral here or triple integration here of a rectangular solid and we're going to be doing it in Cartesian coordinates that is XYZ coordinates and we're going to be looking at really a simple polygon as a tetrahedron here. Okay, so what we're going to be dealing with is this tetrahedron here. So remember with a tetrahedron we really got four different sides to it. We've got the front two sides and then the bottom here. But the way we have this set up here along our z-axis, the coordinate is 0, 0, 1, or that is we're going up one unit here along our z-axis. And then here we're sitting, everything's sitting at 90 degrees here, your x and y axis here at our 90 degrees, and then z is 90 degrees to each of those here. So we're dealing with 90 degrees here, really a simple tetrahedron. And then this is our zero, zero point here. And then along our x-axis, we're coming out two units here. And then along our y-axis, we're going over three units here. But the slanted uh, surface here from our x-y plane on up to z here, that's represented here based on those points here. Uh, the equation for that plane here in our tetrahedron of 3x minus 6 plus 2y plus 6z here equals zero here. Okay, so that's what we're going to deal with. And what we're going to be looking at here, we're going to take a, uh, looking at our integration here, we're going to be slicing along our y-axis here. So this is going to be our slice. See, this line here really sits on this plane over here. That will be your xz plane here. And then the line over here is sitting on your xy plane here. And then this is the hypotenuse here, which is really uh, following this face up here in our tetrahedron. Okay, so we're integrating here, taking our slice along our y-axis against our rectangular solid here. And we're coming up with a, really a volume that we're looking at with this triple integral here. So if we're looking at it from this side over here, again, this is our y-axis here coming out from 0 up to y. This is the slice here. And remember, it's following that our face here, our, poly, our tetrahedron, the face here from the xy plane on up to the z here. So this is the way we're taking our slice here. And then if we go on over here, just to understand that we could have taken th uh, slices in three different directions here along our z axis here, that's uh, perpendicular or parallel to the xy plane here. And, or you could either go along your x axis shown here in this goldish and work or the y-axis and we're taking our slice here along our y-axis moving in and out here along our y-axis okay so let's go and let's get just understand what we're going to be doing here okay so for our first case here this is going to be the case here where we're going to be moving out along our x-axis here we're going to be looking at our x-axis this is going to be our inside integral we're going to be moving out along our x-axis here with our slice and then the middle one here would be uh, the dz here. We're going to be going up the dz here and then we're, our outside integral here is going to be in the direction we're taking our slice here and y here. Okay, so that's what we're going to deal with here. dy is always the outside integral when we're looking at it in this case and then dx and dz are switched around here uh, and we'll look at that here. So the first case here is we're going to look at the, uh, the dx dz. So then we're talking about uh, the plane we're going to be dealing with here is the dz dy plane that we have here and then x just moves in this direction okay so that's what we're looking at again here's our uh, tetrahedron here with our face we're moving out this bluish area here represents this face our equation plane here of our tetrahedron and just remember everything here is at a 90 degrees here just understand it does you understand your x and y and z are all at 90 degrees here and our slice is going along our y-axis so the second case we would have here is where we're going to go again dy here is going to be our outside integral here because it's moving along our the slice is moving along our y-axis here but now we can switch around our instead of dx dz which we looked at we're going to look at dz dx here and that's where you're going to be dealing with uh, dz is your inside integral here and dx is the middle integral here and you really the d the dx dy here is represented by this plane that we're looking at here again we're, we're going to be dealing with the, that here so let's go on and let's look at how we'd set up this integral Now to set up our orders of integration here or setting up our integral and we're going to be looking at the first case here we're going to be looking at 
dx, dz, dy here. So we'll be starting with our inside integral here, setting it up and moving to the outside. So for dx here would be our inside one here, and then the middle one would be dz here, and then the outside one would be dy here. Again, we're dealing with this equation plane here, 3x minus 6 plus 2y plus 6e equals 0, and that's the face here of that tetrahedron that we're dealing with. Okay, so for our, our case, first case here, so what we're going to start with is the inside, or the inside integral dx. So what is that represented by? Now remember, our slice here is moving along our y-axis here. So that's our slice, and it's moving along the y-axis here. And what we do here for the inside one, this is going to be really pointing opposite of this yz plane here, because the yz plane here is represented by really the middle integral that we're looking at here. But our x here is really the form uh, between the hypotenuse of this triangle. Remember, z, x, and y are all at 90 degrees, so the slice would be at 90 degrees as well here. So this hypotenuse here is really following that our plane along our plane here. So what you would do here for the inside integral, you just solve x in your equation plane here, an equation plane, just solve for x. So uh, based on that here, our x is going to be 2 minus 2 thirds y minus 2z. So that's going to be our inside integral here, and that's moving along our x, along our x axis, x from 0 to whatever value it is. So this is varying here. It's really the hypotenuse of this triangle. Oh, say, okay, so going up here and looking at it on our integral here. So dx was our inside one here. So x here would be the inside 0 to what we calculated here by uh, setting, uh, solving x in our equation plane. Okay, now for our middle one, dz here. Okay, so let's move that down here. So we're moving along this z, along our z axis here, but the slice is moving along our y axis, and that's really represented this dz or is, is our middle integral, and it's really laying on this plane here, the z y plane here. So what you're going to do here it intersects, it intersects the Z, YZ plane here. It's sitting on that YZ plane. It's this part of the triangle here. And remember, X is going to be equal to zero at this point because Z, X is sitting here at zero. It's a zero value here on that plane. So what you're going to do is you just let X equal to zero here in your equation plane, and you're going to solve for Z because that's what we're looking at, that middle integral Z here. So what we would have done, set X equal to zero here, and then solve for Z. Uh, and this is what you're going to get here. So z is going to be 1 minus 1 third y here. So that becomes your middle integral here. And then remember, z starts out at 0 here, and then it moves along this, uh, what we solve here, here. Okay, so going up here and looking at our integral here. There it is, middle integral, dz here, 0 minus 1 third y. Now we just do the dy here is just the outside one here. And that you're just looking at the value from 0 to 3 here. But to understand what we've done here, let's just look at it. This is we're looking at the our integral dx, dz, dy. Okay, for dy, that's always where that's the direction our slice is going into. The outside integral is always looks at the direction of how we're slicing this, actually slicing this uh, tetrahedron, the face here, along the x, y, and z axis here. Now, in this case, d, dz is the middle integral here. So middle integral here really forms a plane here between your z and your y axis here, that plane, because x is 0 on that plane here. And then, okay, and then dx is opposite or like perpendicular to the plane here. And that's really, okay, for the dz here, it's really this value here on the plane here, on our triangle here. Now, dx here is really the hypotenuse of that uh, tr or right triangle that we're looking at in this case. And that's really the following the equation plane here. Okay, so that's it here. Okay, so now let's look at the second case. Okay, okay, so this is the second case. We're just going to switch uh, dy is going to still be our outside integral here, but we're going to look at dz and dx, switch those around. So dz now becomes our inside integral, dx is our middle integral. Inside here for z, middle integral here for x here. So we're going to work from the inside out to the outside again here. So let's look at that. So let's go down and let's look at it. Okay, so now what we're dealing with, again, we're moving along this 
y-axis here and our slice is taking along our y-axis here. But now we're going to deal with this x-y plane here. And what we're going to, and this is the case, here. Oh, first off, let's just, uh, let's just solve here for a, a z here is our inside integral here. So z is going to be represented by this hypotenuse here, which really follows the face of our tetrahedron here. It follows the face of our tetrahedron. So our z is the, is the uh, uh, inside integral here. So again, this equation here of this, this line here that's moving, which moves along our face here, but in the y direction here is just takes that plane, and it's that plane equation that we had here, and you just solve it for z here. Just solve it for z, and you're going to come up with z is 1 minus 1 half x minus 1 third y here. So that's our first, our inside integral. So let's go and look at that here. Okay, so here it is, dz. And then z went from zero to what we solved it for here. Okay, so now we have the middle integral here, dx, to deal with. Okay, so that is going to be uh, looking at it here. This is what we're going to do here. So this is the case here. When you're talking about that middle integral, that's going to end up on the plane here, on going in the y direction, but the x we're going to we're integrating here with the x. Uh, in the dx here on the y plane. And that's really represented by this line here. So it follows this x, y plane here, but it's this part of our right triangle that we're dealing with right here. And all you're going to do here in this case, you know that uh, z is going to be equal to zero here because that's a zero point. And on the x, y plane, z is equal to zero. So what you're going to do, you're intersecting the y-x plane here, letting z equal to zero in your equation plane. Remember that was our equation plane up here. And then you just solve for x, because that's what we're, we're integrating dx here. So there it is. Uh, z is equal to zero in that equation plane. Solve it for x. And x equals 2 minus 2 thirds y here. So that's going to be our middle integral. So let's go ahead and let's look at that up here. There it is dx here, middle integral, and again, it went from 0 to what we solved it for on, that, on, the, on our plane there. And then, of course, the outside integral, dy here, we're just moving here from 0 to 3 here, again, 0 to 3 here. Okay, so what we've done here, let's just look at it again here. This is the case where we would dz, dx, dy. Okay, dy is the outside integral here. So that's just moving along your y-axis from 0 to 3. But we have to make our calculations for, in this case, dx and dz. Remember, dx here was the middle integral here. And that really is tied in with looking at this xy plane here, the xy plane here. And it's this value here, this dx here, xy plane. The middle one is always going to be part of the, in the direction of the slice in whatever uh, you're looking at here in the direction of whatever, in this case, dx. So it involves this xy plane, dy dx plane here. And you, uh, we solved it for x was this value here by letting z equal to 0. And then, of course, dz here, that's really was the hypotenuse of this triangle here, following that face, following our tetrahedron face. All you'd have to do is solve z for your equation here. And then again, you're moving from 0 to whatever that equation was here. And then one last thing here, okay, just to understand here, this is a volume here, and had we gone in and did an integral here, calculated our volume, we may, you might get something like a minus three halves here. Okay, so if you get a little, it sounds a little a weird here with a negative three halves here, you can get the positive three halves here, but what you're gonna do here, you just have to switch your, you, the zeros, instead of on the bottom of your integral, you're, they go up on the top here, and then all these values here that you're integrating to would go on the bottom, and that's going to give you a plus value here for the integral that you're looking at. Okay, so that'll uh, take care of looking at our integral here, and we looked at two of them here, dx, dz, dy. dy is the slice in a direction. That's the outside. That's the direction we're going into. And then the x and the, or the dx and the dz are switched around. And just remember here, the plane that you're looking at or that line that you're looking at is all, it's the middle integral is always represented by the plane between your whatever middle integral and whatever slice you're taking in. And then remember the inside integral, that's just whatever it is outside and outside. It doesn't include the plane, but it points in the direction that you're 
of the axis. In this case, we looked at dz here going up and down. Okay, so that'll end our discussion.